Good morning and welcome to another episode of Flying and Dine. Today, I will, well, today during the next week, I will be filming my vlogs for Madrid and Istanbul. Um, here in Europe for a week, I'll be in Madrid for three days and Istanbul for three days. So I'm gonna try to film as much as possible. I didn't know where to start this video. I usually started at the airport right when I get there, but I like talking without a mask and, you know, Omicron. But it's Christmas day, no, I'm lying. It's December 26th. Um, I'm gonna take a little nap because I'm dead. The flight left at 6.40 p.m. from Miami to Madrid. So if you're interested in seeing the American Airlines business class, 777, I'll leave the link up here so you can go check that out. But I'm gonna take a little nap really quick. I'm gonna do a tour of the hotel in a separate video. I'll show little clips in this one as well. We're gonna go have lunch. It's gonna be a jam-packed trip and vlog with a lot of food and a lot of exciting things. I'm gonna show you guys clubs, a club here during New Year's, what it is like to have a New Year's dinner uh, here with my family. We're eating New Year's dinner in the hotel, but I'm gonna shut up and bed check. It passed the test, where's the camera there? So I'm gonna take a nap and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, so now we're eating in Charrua Steakhouse. So restaurants in Spain have this curtain so the cold air doesn't get through. Okay guys, I just finished having dinner in Charrua. That's all the delicious food you just saw. Um, it's a Uruguayan steakhouse from Uruguay. Um, delicious. But anyway, I'm gonna try to look for some bars. I don't know if there's anything open. It's Sunday, it's the day after Christmas. Half Madrid is empty because of the holidays, obviously. Um, but I think I saw one on the way. And one thing I love about Madrid is that there is a restaurant, a bar, uh, something uh, in Spanish we say a terraza like a like a little terrace every other block um, it's fantastic but I think I'm getting closer to a bar now I'll show you guys that but there's so much more to come I'm gonna show you guys Madrid on New Year's um, I'm going to Teatro Barcelo which is a very famous club some people know it as Pacha I'm sure you've seen it on the show Elite on Netflix um, I'm actually staying in the hotel that's right next to it. We have our apartment as well that's right next to it. Uh, but I'll show you guys that a little more ahead in the video, so stay tuned. And I'm gonna show you the Museo del Prado and talk about more attractions you can do here while you're in Madrid. Just bring your umbrella in winter because it's really cold and it's wet. So this is the view of the hotel at night. It's beautiful. It's a very boutique hotel. It's a spa and hotel more than anything. Um, you guys can see the comprehensive review where I, I review the hotel in detail, show all the jacuzzis, the gym equipment, the spa, the room, the lobby. And we'll also be having dinner here on New Year's. And I can't wait for that. guys it's 
it's 8 a.m. here in Madrid. I'm walking over to the Petisqueria. It's a restaurant and tapas bar here right next to the hotel. I'd rather pay five, 10 to 12 euros for breakfast and it's delicious. There's tortilla patata, jamón serrano, churros and hot chocolate because it's winter and it's nice and cold. I'm gonna show you guys now. I'd rather pay this than pay the $30 at the, uh, I'm so half asleep at the hotel breakfast, which is delicious, but it's 30 euros plus tax. And it's like a $40 breakfast, totally worth it. But you know, I'm 25 and like to keep it on a budget somewhat. Um, so I'm going to show you guys all the, delicious, all the delicious things for breakfast. And today actually I have a flight to Istanbul. So I'll be leaving the Istanbul city tour and Istanbul Turkish Airways uh, flight review as well. But don't worry, there's so much more from Madrid, of Madrid for you to see. And I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna shut up. Well, guys, you can't come to Madrid without having your chocolate and churros. guys after a short break we flew to Istanbul for three days but we just landed again in Madrid we're on our way to a cafeteria called Santa Barbara in La Plaza de Santa Barbara there's a lot of plazas here uh, Plaza Santa Ana, Plaza Santa Barbara uh, there's a whole bunch they're all full of terraces restaurants bars um, so we're gonna head over there have a little appetizer because we left Istanbul at 5 a.m. Madrid time, I ate on the airplane, but we're gonna eat something small now. And then we're having lunch at El Pedruzco at 2.30. Very typical Spanish restaurant, only 40 people fit. The mother cooks, the son attends the restaurant. A lot of restaurants here in Spain are like that. So I'm very excited to show you guys a little bit of my city and my culture. Um, I'm starving though, so let's go eat. All the restaurants have little terraces on the side. It's really cold right now. It's like five degrees Celsius, 38 degrees Fahrenheit. You can have anything from here for anywhere from five to eight euros. Look at those prices, guys. Two euros, six euros, five euros. Yeah, this is like a very sophisticated upscale neighborhood. The food here is super cheap. Soup for four dollars. The coffee's three dollars, three dollars fifty cents. Breakfast is Full breakfast, five dollars and thirty cents, five euros, which is like seven dollars. Guys, all this, and I have some croquetas coming, all for eight euros. So you can't come to Madrid without eating croquetas or jamón. So good. 
still good. Yeah. The sauce usually comes on top, but my buddy over here doesn't like it. But these are patatas bravas. So I go like this, I dip it in the hot sauce, which is the brava sauce. This is the alioli, it's like a garlic something sauce. And. So we just finished eating like bat pigs. I had breakfast at the airport in the lounge. I had breakfast on the airplane and I just ate everything you guys saw, croquetas, patatas, um, tortilla española. And then in about two hours and a half, we're gonna go eat at El Pedrusco, which I mentioned to you guys before. So I reserved in the gym and spa later because I definitely need to run this off. Right now we're going to do our COVID test really quick in Españoleto 3. There's also laboratories in labs in eh, La Calle Alcántara. I'll put the link, the addresses in the description. And let's go check out more on the trip. bread shops every other street so delicious well guys this is hotel urso as I mentioned before, the room is beautiful. It's nice and spacious. It goes anywhere from about 180 euros on a non-busy season up to 400 euros on a day like today, New Year's. Uh, it's New Year's Eve Eve. It's December 30th, but the price is fantastic. To be honest, the hotel is amazing. The attention, the service is fantastic. The restaurant they have is out of this world. We're actually gonna spend New Year's Eve here so I'm gonna be posting that dinner as well. I'm gonna do a separate review on the actual hotel so you guys can take a look at all of that. I'll leave the link up here so you guys can just click on that and see it. And um, yeah, we're going to lunch again. I'm gonna roll. But a little sneak peek, the mini bar. Show you guys the bathroom really quick, but I won't show you more so you guys can check out the full review on um, a separate video. So this is one of the main restaurants. This is, I'm assuming this is where we're gonna have our New Year's Eve dinner. This is also where they have breakfast behind those two double doors. Um, they have a buffet in the morning, plus all the bakery stuff, pancakes, uh, Nutella crepes, anything you can think of they have. Now we're going down into the lobby. This is El Pedrusco. It's a very hole in the wall, family owned restaurant. The menu is delicious. They have like specialty menus. You can call them in advance and tell them exactly what you want. Very excited. I'll show you guys the menu now. So this is the first course that's equivalent to like a chicharron. It's called torrendo. They cook it for eight hours or more in the oven, degreasing it. 
morcilla. I'll give an explanation of what that is after. And of course, bread. Guys, it's fantastic. Listen to the crunch. So good. I can taste the grease, but it's so good. Oof. Qué rico, gracias. Más vinagre balsámico que aceite, eh? Aceite bien poquito. Those are chuletas, ¿cómo se dice chuleta de cordero? Chuletita lamb de rack. cordero. Lamb rack. So that's the lamb rack. This is half a pig salad. And I'm an official fat beep. And for those of you that are like me, gym rats, um, I'm, I'm personally getting ready for a show. I don't know if you've seen my other vlogs. It's a very important show uh, with, I don't know if I can say it, but um, hotel gyms tend to be kind of crappy. So I came to the gym right across the street of my hotel, Urso. It's called Centro Deportivo Municipio Barcelo, uh, Fitness Center Barcelo. Uh, you can join these gyms for, I don't know, 20 euros you pay the month and I mean it's worth it if you're really really into the gym but look that's the hotel right there and the gym's right here Guess who had an extended nap and didn't make it to the gym? Me. Um, I took a 30 minute nap that turned into a three hour nap, but whatever, it's fine. I'm on vacation. I'm headed over to pick up my mom at her apartment and we're going to St. James. It's a very typical Spanish um, restaurant. Their main specialty, their specialty is uh, rices. Um, a lot of different types of rices, rice with rabbit, rice with seafood, with chicken, with steak. There's a whole bunch of styles and I'm excited because I'm going to go eat with an old friend from Miami. She actually just flew in today. So I'll go ahead and show you guys all the different delicious food that St. James has to offer. Got a little wine or marmalade bread or something with bacon and I didn't understand but it looked like great. Guys, I feel like instead of Fly and Dine, this is a spin-off of Man vs. Food. And I think Food won. Today, the day of uh, New Year's Eve Eve. I didn't make it to the gym, which is right up there. But I'm getting to the hotel, it's 11 p.m. I'm gonna change, and I'm gonna hop on the Stairmaster because I had five meals today, once again. Breakfast in where? in the lounge of Turkish Airlines in Istanbul. On the airplane, I had a full breakfast. I arrived in Madrid, I ate that mini tapas, and then I ate that uh, cochinillo, which is pork. And I just had like a, it's called arroz de pato here, like a paella of pato with dessert and coffee. But gym is open until midnight, so I'm going to change and head over there. Okay. 
So guys, this is the lab I was talking about, Abo Labs. There's a lot around Madrid. Um, you can do your COVID test here. They have the PCR, they have the antigens. Um, it's eight in the morning and my travel buddy likes getting early everywhere. So we got here at 7.30. My hands are freezing, they're about to fall off. But yeah, PCR is like 130 euros and an antigen is, I don't know how much, like 60? 30. 30 euros um, but they give you the results the same day or the day right after depending at what time you do it but after here we're gonna go eat chocolate con porras or churros as you guys know them and I'll definitely go to the gym again later because it's New Year's Eve and I'm gonna show you guys that celebration and tonight we're going to Pacha which is a club or better known as Teatro Barcelo which is right next to the hotel and I'm gonna show you guys all that footage as well. Okay guys, we just got to La Plazuela de San Ginés. We're going to a churreria, a churro shop that's been here 127 years, since 1894. Um, the best churros and um, porras in town and hot chocolate. It's right next to La Plaza Mayor, El Mercado San Miguel, which I'll show you guys now too. They're pretty cool touristy spots. There it is behind me. And um, let's go order some churros. Here it is. So these are porras, which are the thicker ones. These are churros. In the States, it's like a hybrid, but this chocolate is so thick. Let's see. Oh, melt in your mouth. I can feel the fat. So good. And then the churro. You guys have to come here. So good. So thick. Okay, so this is the Plaza Mayor. Um, it's been here since the 15th century, and it used to be the center and heart of Madrid back in those times and it served so many different purposes. People used to be executed here many, many years ago and then today it serves as a Christmas market. It's full of shops, it's very touristy. There's a lot of like tapas restaurants, bars that you can come to. Um, and it's a little early, it's 8.30 in the morning because I want to go do my COVID test. But if you come here at noon, at one, at 6 p.m., at 8 p.m., 9 p.m., this is full of people, it's a great ambiance. Just watch out because there are a lot of pickpocketers. Um, in fact, all over Madrid in the subway and any major attraction in any major attraction, there's a lot of pickpocketers. So watch out for that. But I'm gonna show you guys a wider scope now. Guys, if you've been following my vlogs for a while, I'm never lucky with weather. It's either always raining, a hailstorm. When I was in Poland and, and Krakow and Warsaw this summer, it was extremely hot. It was 40 degrees, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm here in Madrid, it's like 30 something degrees or like five, four, three degrees Celsius. And my hands are about to fall off. But this here is El Mercado San Miguel. It's full of bars and restaurants and um, they have fish markets, they sell jamon, fruits, a little bit of everything. So I'm going to show you guys inside right now. And I'm also going to show you guys the oldest restaurant in the world, which is right down the street over there. But first, let me show you this. Well, I'm kidding. We're going to come back a little later because they don't open until 10. But I'm going to show you guys the oldest restaurant in the world, which is right here down the street. Uh, <laughs> I'm traveling with my mom and I'm trying to vlog and the lady speaks in the middle and ruins it. But um, 
we can't go in until 10 a.m. I'm gonna show you guys the oldest restaurant in the world, which is just down that street. And I'm gonna try to show you the Royal Palace as well. The El Parque del Retiro. Mom, cruza para acá. And yeah, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's freezing. My hands are like about to fall off. Here it is, guys, since 1725. It's on Calle Cuchilleros 17. And guys, this here is the Royal Palace of Spain. The king does not live here. And the royal family. But it is the Royal Palace. Everything's closed right now. Opens at 10. But I didn't want to leave Spain without showing you guys. I'll show you the front view now as well, which is a lot nicer. Look how nice it is. Guys, I can't feel my hands. I'm filming this for you guys. Oh boy, it's really cold. Over here, I don't know if we can see it, but are the royal gardens of the palace. Oh, it's a little far. Yeah, it seems like it's blocked off, but down there are the royal gardens. Yeah, it looks like they're doing some sort of construction, so this is as close as I can get. I'll try to zoom in. But if you are in Madrid, you have to come here.
And this here, guys, is El Corte Inglés. This is like the Macy's of Spain, but so much better, so many more options. The quality is amazing and the prices are great. And over there is Feta. I know a lot of people don't travel to shop, but I happen to be from here. We come here a lot. We kind of live here on and off. So if you're looking to shop in Spain and you want a Zara, that's the one to go to. my final gym session of 2021. I signed up to the gym um, yesterday and I had a little argument because they didn't want to let me in because I got there 30 minutes before. All I wanted to do was a Stairmaster, but whatever, we're gonna try again today. Um, it's 45 degrees outside and I forgot my jacket, I'm freezing, but it's a beautiful day. Can't wait for 22, 20, 22. Now my trip is coming to an end, but I'm gonna try to come to this terrace later with my cousins. You may remember them from the Warsaw and Krakow vlog, um, or we may just go to another rooftop terrace, but the views are absolutely beautiful. As I've mentioned throughout the vlog, Spain is full of these mercados. Mercado means market in Spanish. This one in particular is Mercado Barceló. It's right next to our house and right in front of the hotel that I was staying in. And you can find pretty much anything from fresh fishes to candies to meats, pharmacies, fruits. They have absolutely everything. Um, today it was actually really cool for me because it's the first time in my life I spent New Year's in Madrid. Um, I've always spent it in Miami or Colombia or just somewhere else. Um, and it was cool seeing how families were here getting their last minute shopping done for their dinners. Um, and it was very nice. Everything looked super fresh. This market in particular is three stories high. Um, like I said, they sell everything uh, to cheeses, to cold cuts, and they have a food court as well. These are nuts, I think. Yeah, it was nuts and candies and dates. Very, very cool. Hey guys, I just left the gym. I'm gonna get ready for lunch with my uncles. This is Teatro Barcelo, the club I'm going to tonight. It's also known as Pacha, usually on Thursdays. You probably recognize it from scenes of the Netflix Spanish drama Elite. Right now it's nice, calm and peaceful, but let's see how it gets tonight.
So after a delicious lunch, we were headed back to the hotel and we got caught up with this. So in Europe in general, they tend to close a lot of main streets for big events and for people to be able to walk. This was the San Jerónimo Marathon, I believe, which happens every New Year's. Very, very cool. So guys, on this trip, I didn't go to a lot of bars because I was with a lot of family. I went to Istanbul, but today um, we came to Malasaña, which is a good place to go to a lot of bars. I'm going to show you guys around. Everything is closed because it's T minus four hours for New Year's. Um, but Malasaña, I'll write it down here so you guys can check it out. El Barrio de la Latina is another place where there's a lot of bars. Um, the zone, La Zona de Alonso Martinez, is another area where there's a lot of bars um, where you can sit on terraces and chill and have a drink. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the area and I'll put some, some other places in the description as well. Um, but I'm gonna go shower, get ready for tonight. We have an awesome dinner. I have a friend from Miami. I have my cousins back there. If I don't know if you remember them from Krakow. I've said this like five times from Krakow and Warsaw, the Krakow and Warsaw vlog. But I'm gonna go to my hotel, get ready, so I can show you guys Teatro Arcelo. It's very weird to see an empty street in Madrid on a Friday night, especially here in Malasaña. But it was uh, T minus three hours for New Year's. So I headed back to the hotel. I showered, got ready for dinner. And you guys will see the beautiful setup that the hotel did. And I do want to reiterate how beautiful the hotel is and the service was just out of this world. Now what you're gonna see in continuation, the hotel even put 12 grapes in my room, which is a Spanish tradition. Um, I'll zoom in a little here, maybe you can pause it and read it. But you eat 12 grapes with the last 12 seconds of the bells ringing, and here's the beautiful dinner. The table setup was incredible. Um, it was a five course dinner. Each course had its wine. Um, the appetizer uh, had a specific wine. I'll show the wine now. This was like a lentil consomme with beef and chicken and veggies it was delicious we started off with the white wine i'll try to zoom in now and if you see there in the background there's no food in spain like a dinner or a lunch without bread bread is like the main attraction Sí, gracias. What's 
happening. I don't know. I'm in Spain and we eat 12 grapes. Or not grapes. Yeah, 12 grapes before New Year's. I'm so lost. I don't know what's happening. I'm nervous. No, no, no. Oh. Who? Four. <laughs> but it's getting a little harder. It's only half past 12 and the streets are already full. I just dropped mom off at home. I'm gonna go pick up my cousins in the hotel and we're gonna head to Teatro Barcelo. But it's a beautiful night. It's actually not that cold, but it is gonna drop to 36 degrees or I don't know, that's like three degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna go pick up my jacket, my cousins, and it's gonna be a wild night. But for real, on behalf of the whole Fly and Dine team, which is me, myself, and I, producer, cameraman, editor. Um, I wish you guys a very prosperous 2022. Guys, we're here before we put our mask on. We're here at Teatro Barcelo, general admission line, table line. Let's do this. It's January 1st. I had a great night. I had a great time in Madrid. Thank you so much for tuning in to Fly and Dine for season two. For right now, peace out, and I'll see you on the next ride.